I, I brought props tonight. And the blanket truth is simply that here, uh, here is all of reality underneath this blanket. And in fact, all of the particles in the universe, all the matter, all the energy is right here. Under the, here, here I am over here. And there's Rick back there on the sound equipment. Over here is South High School and a little further down Walnut Street there you've got the chocolate mousse and people standing in line tonight and here's Indianapolis and there's Washington DC and the White and over here in Europe to, tonight is uh, President Obama and keep looking and, and um, all this stuff and by golly uh, look here there's a, uh, there's a dinosaur. How, how did that die? There, there's the Ice Age, and, and there's World War II, and, and there's, well, there's great great grandpa, and there's our son Zachary, and there's all of this universe right here under this blanket. And the blanket truth is that we understand that it's all. Connected, it's all one. But our everyday mind, the human wish, the human wisdom, it doesn't understand that. It 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 believes that we're separate. That uh, you're out there and I'm up here, and that we're separate. We're disconnected. Uh, but the blanket truth reminds us that uh, it's all uh, connected, all one. And that reality is not the human-centered wish that doesn't accept life the way it is, but wants life to be the way I want life to be, with the center of the universe being right here. Uh, no. Uh, it's always in dialogue with mystery-centered reality, which understands that the blanket truth is the truth. The mystery-centered reality understands that it's all good. The human-centered uh, wisdom would tell us that, uh, well, that moment of awe up there on the mountaintop, which we've all experienced, uh, this oneness with nature, that that's good. That's good reality, right? But then these lightning bolts that are trying to take me out while I'm running down the mountain, that's bad reality. Now, that's the human-centered wisdom. But mystery-centered wisdom understands that it's all good. Not only is it all good, it's all trustworthy. Human-centered um, uh, reality, human-centered wisdom, it hopes that in some different situation, that there's something out there that's going to come and rescue me from my real life. There's someone, somebody, some he, some she, some super being on another planet, some new supernatural force is going to come fix my life someday, not, not now, someday. Whereas mystery-centered reality says no, no. The everyday mystery, the everyday reality is right here, right now. It's, it's good. It's trustworthy. It is real. It is real. And that's where authentic hope is found. And finally, the human-centered wisdom likewise says that, you know, I'm going to figure this out with my mind. I'm going to control it. Uh, I'm going to know. I'm going to rationalize. I'm going to, um, you know, try to explain to a child their dead pet kitty. Try to explain the dead pet kitty to an adult. Try to explain a, a, a dead child to a parent. Can't do it. Human-centered wisdom uh, comes up short. 